Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Today I will be decorating my coffee bar and my dining room and you guys, I couldn't have even hoped for better weather. It is a rainy day outside. We don't get very many of those here in New Mexico and it's almost like God knew my plans. Not that I intentionally am decorating for fall. I was thinking more of end of summer but all the cozy colors and all the warmth and coziness that I've been adding to my house really called for this type of weather. So I took advantage. I made myself a warm cup of coffee and I'm just going to get to decorating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't seen my previous two videos, I will have them linked down below. But I have already decorated my kitchen and my living room. So like I said, I will have those videos linked down below and up in the iCard. But today is my coffee bar and my dining room table and I'm so excited you guys already saw the things I purchased for these areas and anything I have not hauled yet I already owned there is one new item though that I'm really excited to show you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and show you because it is the last piece I was waiting for this coffee bar and what inspired actually like all of my decor you guys know that I usually always find one item that I really love and it just inspires the rest of the space so let me go ahead and grab it and show it to you guys. Okay, so it is a little bit too big to fit in the frame, so I'm going to try my best. But it is this sign right here. I absolutely love it. I saw this on an Etsy shop. They're called The Holiday Porch. I'll go ahead and link the shop down below for you guys to go see their amazing signs. They're just all so beautiful. But I fell in love with what the sign says. I think it's perfect for transitioning to summer into fall. And it just reads, life is amazing and then it's awful and then it's amazing again and in between the amazing and the awful. It's ordinary and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing, hold on through the awful and relax and exhale during the ordinary. That's just living, heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life. And it's breathtakingly beautiful. And I just think the sign is beautiful. The overall quote is beautiful. And I'm going to cry. I'm sorry. Fall is such a hard time because around this time is when my dad passed away last year. So it's just a little bit sad, but I know that decorating just is so therapeutic for me and I know it is for so many of you guys. So I I love this sign, you guys. And the shop owner was so, so incredibly sweet to give you guys a coupon code. I will put it right here on the screen, but it is holiday 10. That will get you 10% off of whatever sign in her shop you like. But I am in love with this sign and I'm going to have it up for as long as I can. I will incorporate this into my actual fall decorating videos. So stay tuned for those. But I'm in love with this sign and I'm so excited to get to decorating. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to get started with my dining room table, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see where I decide to get started. Alrighty, so I decided to get started up here because I actually had all my stuff on the dining room table So it would just be easier to take some of that stuff put it up here and then take care of the rest when I move down there But as you guys can see I kept up my little shelf up here I just loved the way it looked on my previous decorating video with the cow frame I love how it like frames out the actual picture The only thing is the cow frame was a bit bigger than the one I will be using 
today that one was 24 by 24 inches and the one I am using today is 20 by 20 inches which is still really big but it just didn't make sense to have this up so high so I did have Jonathan bring it down about three inches and I did go ahead and patch and paint the holes from the previous frame and from having the shelf a little bit higher and that was my deal with Jonathan. That is how I got him to let me continue making these changes and poking holes in the wall. I promised I would patch and paint them, which I did. You guys can probably tell there's no holes. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang that sign. Jonathan already pre-drilled a little, um, I don't know, like a little hook on it so I can just put it up. So that is what I'm gonna do. Let me go grab it real quick. Okay, so here it is. I did go ahead and love the natural color. At first when I bought it, I was going to ask her to stain it a darker color if she could, or I was just going to stain it myself. But when I got it, I really liked how the natural wood looked against like the warm tones of my mug shelf and that shelf up there. And if you guys are wondering, this shelf my husband actually made for me. He is so incredibly sweet and talented, so he made that for me when I was really into uh, collecting Ray Dunn. So I had a bunch of Ray Dunn mugs that I wasn't really displaying, and he made this amazing shelf for me. But I'm just gonna place this here. And that is it. Uh, again, I absolutely love the way that shelf frames it. And I'm gonna move on to placing some stuff up here. I don't wanna like block off the sign. I want you to be able to read it. I had someone comment a while back as to why I cover my signs if they have a saying on them. And sometimes I just like to add them for the pattern and the like depth that they add to a space. And others, like today, I want people to walk in and be able to read them. So I'm gonna try not to block any of this, but still have something to add interest on each side of the sign. Okay, so the first thing is this terracotta pitcher. I used it in my last video and I still love it. I still want to use it. I told you guys that I had debated getting this for a while just because it was a little bit of a bigger investment. I think it was like $25. So I am definitely using it again and I love the rust color that it is. It is perfect for a summer to fall transition. So I am going to place that here and then I also used this in my last video and I'm going to use it again. It's just a neutral piece that just adds to the space. So it just covers some of that empty space and it still lets you read all of the sign. So I'm going to leave that on this side and then over on the other side. I'm just gonna add these baskets I got from Hobby Lobby. They're just so adorable and they add so much texture to the space because everything is so clean. So the like wicker look of them is just gonna add texture when you're looking at it. So I'm just gonna add these right here as well as it adds some height since we have a lot of height going on this side. It's not as much, but it doesn't really bother me. So I'm gonna leave those there. Okay, next up, I've been using wheat around my house and that is what I wanna use in that vase. This is a little bit too long for what I want it. So I'm gonna cut off maybe, oops, I hit the roof. I'm gonna cut off maybe like three inches from it and then see how that looks. Okay, so I have cut off about three inches off of the bottom of each wheat and I'm just gonna place them in here. And that is everything and I chose wheat just because I think that the color of it, the natural color of it complements the natural wood color as well as the darker wood. And then it's also again like I said it just reminds me of end of summer. It's an item or floral that can easily transition into fall and it's such a simple floral to use. It doesn't really clash with anything like it goes with most of the rust colors it goes with like the neutral colors and it can work for basically any style of home so that is it for the top of my coffee bar 
Let's go ahead and move to the bottom. I'm not doing much to it, but then we will move to the dining room table. Okay, so now that we are a little bit lower, the only thing I'm gonna do down here is I am going to switch the mugs to the blank side. This is something I like doing when the actual wording of my mug starts like bothering me or I want something different. This time around, I'm doing it because again, I want the focus to be on the wording of the sign so I don't want to add any more words to it and Jonathan just walked in and is dancing so I'm sorry that I laughed but I'm just going to turn these around and just leave <laughs> okay I apologize about that brief interruption but as I was saying I want to go ahead and turn them to the like the empty side because I want people to read that sign. I want the focus to be the sign. So that is why I'm doing this. And the white side looks just as pretty. So why not? Ta-da! And then at the bottom, I have my coffee, sugar, and tea. I am going to leave the words outside because we already took care of there not being any words up here. So it's fine if there is some down here since it's so much lower. But I am going to add a new coffee sign. So this one just says less is more unless it's coffee. And I'm just going to add that right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to clean this little table and then add a little placemat underneath just so it kind of grounds these canisters more instead of them just being like on the table. So I'll be right back. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. So I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Okay, and then if you guys haven't seen, I have this like little pulley right here in this corner And I just had some baby's breath in on my previous decorating video So I'm gonna do the same thing The only thing is Oops I'm replacing the baby's breath with these ones. So this one's like a little cream colored and this is burgundy color. So it just kind of looks like it died while it was in there. Now my bed feels just like and that is it for these ones. Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my little table runner now It's not big enough to cover it like from corner to corner, but that's okay because that was on purpose I just wanted it to lay on the table and that is what I got so I'm gonna place this right in the middle Time went by and it was her and I and then now we can get to decorating like the actual centerpiece. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now for the centerpiece, I'm gonna go ahead and place the tray with the vases that I got. I got this from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down below, but I'm just gonna place this in the middle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place my florals. Now I'm gonna do a mix of wheat. I'm gonna do a mix of baby's breath and then the like droopy flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you guys in just a minute up close, but I'm just gonna fill these up however I feel they look best, but this is what I have right now to work with. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm using. Okay, so this is what I'm using. I just have some wheat in there, some of those droopy flowers, and then some baby's breath. I got all of them from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to fill up those bases as I feel they look best. Okay, 
and then afterwards I'm just gonna go ahead and add these candlesticks that were black and I did spray paint gold just using some gold spray paint but there's two large ones and two smaller ones so I'm just going to place them on each side and then I'm gonna do a small one large one and then a large one small one say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep and then now I'm gonna add these candles that I actually lit so I would have like the drippings of the wax so they actually used, looked used instead of brand new and I'm just gonna add these to the little candlesticks okay friends while that is everything for this video i hope you guys loved the outcome just as much as i did i'm honestly loving all of the warm colors and coziness this decor has brought to my home and i'm so excited to start decorating for fall and i hope you guys are too so make sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified of my upcoming videos and if you are new do not forget to subscribe i would love to have you as part of my youtube family and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. And lastly, stay until the end of this video to see some of the decor pictures you guys sent me. And again, if you have been inspired by my decor, please don't hesitate and send me some pictures over on Instagram. I absolutely love seeing what you guys have created. And I also feel inspired by seeing at your guys' pictures. So yeah, if you want to send me pictures send me a picture over on instagram it is down below in the description box but until then i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye Why did she go?